Shoot. Shoot back to the bad. Hello. Are you? Uh, oh, okay. Hello again. <laughs> I have to uh, go back to say everything that I was saying as well uh, before. Let's hope you can hear uh, the server now. Okay. So uh, we're going to do round two of the championship in um, uh, with Gnoob Gamers, uh, it's going to be DTM 1992 with the Mercs around uh, Hockenheim Ring, um, which is fantastic. Hockenheim Ring is a small circuit. It was very big in uh, in the old times, but now it is a small circuit, uh, and it's packed with racing. You can do so many overtaking opportunities on the circuit. Um, uh, so we do have qualifying is coming up. So we do have 50 minutes of qualifying, uh, followed by a 45 minutes race with a random weather. So uh, there is a possibility of rain in the last 15 minutes. So let's get to it. Okay, qualifying, edit set up. So 
so we will put four laps of fuel we we'll start with four laps of fuel and we have loaded the setup which is fantastic let's drive Hope you can hear everything. Please let me know in the chat if you can hear the server, if you can hear the car, or if you can hear the track, everything, the environment. Faster encoding. Okay. Okay. Can I change it now? Next time around, I'll change it. Okay. I'm losing time here. Okay, let's concentrate on qualifying. Return to pit, pit box. Four laps in. You can you can hear me, right? Eh? You can hear me, George Raja and George Darezi. So the circuit is notoriously difficult, to say the least. will let you know about the corners right away so we're heading into this Mercedes corner that's going to lead us into the stadium section as you can see we're going in in third gear into this beautiful stadium section So the car is going to go sideways in here. Look at look at that. The car is now sideways where you have to control it with the throttle. You don't get this movement of these cars with modern cars. 
Only classic cars does that. Forty nine point three to be that's uh, extremely quick lap time. That's too late, way too late. validated lap time so as I was saying the first corner is a sweeping left followed by another 90 degree almost stop that heads to the back straight and you've seen the the, the hairpin chicane or the, the, the hairpin we're gonna try again Smooth, trying to keep it smooth. That's fantastic. Let's keep it on the island. Third gear. Oh, okay. I'm missing the apex there. before we have to try more I don't know if I do have few, enough fuel for to try more. Five minutes left to go. Let's go back to the pits and try one more time. Please let me know how the stream feels. If you can hear me in the chat. Um, one thing that I want to change on the setup is the uh, final gear drivetrain final gear I wanted to make it longer than usual
Uh, it's always the same thing. Always do the same mistake. to P5 so we need to push a little bit more Sorry for not talking, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate a little bit here. That's way too much. Let's hope I don't do that in the race. Okay, drive. Oh, we have 23 seconds left to go. I think we can do one more lap.
uh, we don't have enough time to do another lap. The game decided to stop us. Let's return to pit box and edit the setup. We need to have a certain strategy. Let's do edit setup, pit strategy, this, uh, let's call it Let's call that this one damage. Which is a damage limitate limitation, so uh damage. Uh fuel and tires. We're not going to ha have any fuel. Change tires none and damage full I was trying to fix the uh, so we did 150.9 we pretty much had one lap uh, we have George Jaja in, in fourth position. That's fantastic. Not in a host. Hey, how are you? You're good, Abdul. <laughs> uh, okay, pit strategies. We did damage, pit one, let's save it as pit, pit one. Yes, continue. Uh, the second one is fuel and tires. The second one. Uh, regular pits. Um, I'm very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Zero laps. Six. Damage. Yes. Safe. And. One. Instead of default, we will call it wet fuel and tires damage Thank you, thank you, thank you, Abdul. So, whew. Not a very good start. Ah, that should be good.
okay we settled in there's a car on the inside in here even though this is not considered a passing opportunity as I predicted people here will choose to pass you in the stadium section even though the car is sideways most of the time and you're struggling for grip I have the run uh, at this guy. We will try to take him out from the inside. Let's hope he doesn't cover the inside. It was way too aggressive. We didn't stop in time, so we lost one position instead of gaining a position. Oh, 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 they come together. Oh, too bad, too bad that we, we couldn't benefit. That's because of the heavy foot on the throttle. Warning, I'll take it. Got to set cruise ship up, and I don't know if we set the fuel at the start. There's a car on the inside, car on the outside, nothing, nowhere to go. That was really tough. You should be more careful on the downshift. Let's take the scheduled pit stop. Since I think, oh my God. Since I think fuel is low anyway. I don't know how I missed. That was a short pit stop. I think we missed. I don't think we took the, the fuel enough in a, to the end of the session or we filled the fuel enough. That's too bad.
how can we forget forget the fuel to set the fuel up? A long way now. Give it a pit stop uh, strategy. I did it, but oh my god, all of the uh, setups that I have has no fuel. Set. but I didn't put the fuel enough I forgot the fuel four laps of fuel each time how, how to how to add it manually Okay. I can see only. Can I use the mouse? No, I cannot use the mouse. Okay, fuel. Addition to Hatim fuel. Okay.
okay, let's stop the circuit until they call me. Um, I think I'm two laps down because of that. What a disastrous race. George, that is it. Did you map the flappy pedals? Did you map the flappy pedals? Use the flappy pedals if you can. Last, of course, two laps down, no man the fuel. So it's fate to Alpit Martin Lahalla. Hattaita Halla, Anjdeed. I ran out of fuel on the circuit. They didn't call me for for a pit stop. Too bad. It is what it is. Sometimes you gain, sometimes you lose. We did a stupid mistake at the start of the race. We we didn't we didn't put fuel, so we had to uh, to live with it. We went through the pits twice. We didn't manage to put fuel. That's because we didn't schedule to put fuel in the first place. One of the main rules that I've done, never done uh, in sim racing is check the fuel. I don't know what's going on. I didn't check the fuel. So it is what it is. <laughs> so... I'm sorry, I have to retire to pit box. Let's watch. Let's watch our friends. You both, you're both coming up on the stream, by the way. <laughs> I decided to watch you guys.
Can we change the camera? Yes, we can. Drag side camera. Maybe taking this opportunity to talk to you guys if anyone has a question. Yeah, I thought this came in handy. move myself a little bit so you can see better okay we're watching Georgia trying to follow the car in front in P3 he's called legionary Georgia is 10 seconds off the pace right now, or um, 10 seconds away from the leader, I should say. And he's capable of 153.156 in the last lap, while the guys ahead are doing 152s. Another Lebanese to look for is P17, Le Darazix. He's doing 152.7, which is good, pretty much 
uh, as he was trying to learn the circuit. But let's move on. Let's try to look at the leader. Lap 13. We promised by a variable weather for this server, so uh, variable weather can bring up um, water, can bring up um, uh, wetness of the track. We were expecting rain, to be fair. He's sideways, sideways. Oh, he lost it. He lost it. The leader lost it. And lost the lead. Everyone going to the pits. Even Georgiaza. Georgiaza went to the pits. Georgiaza is off in the pits. <laughs> that is something. <laughs> I think there's a variable weather that we're talking about as hit and it's hard. So many guys in the pits, I don't know if they are putting... If they are putting wet, what's on. Because everyone is in the pits with 20 minutes left on the clock. So, Frim is in the lead. Followed by Rob74, who. And Veilside. Th this guy, we've been using his. Um, Veilside, we've been using his car setup all, all day long. Tony in fourth. Legionary in fifth. Tom in sixth. Maestro in seventh. Collinworth in. Eights, George Jaja in nines, Blind Chun in tenth, took in eleven, followed closely by Gary, who's trying to pull up on the inside. This is a battle for P11. A little push, and he got the position. R1 is in 13th. George Dar is in 14th. There's a fight for P15 between Bobber and Harry Bones. P17 in excess or, or something like that. So Frem is in the pits. The leader is in the pits. Chuck Lafayette, shut it. Rob has taken the lead. Veilside is in second right now. And Frim has dropped to third right now because he's in the pits. Frim leaves the pits. Tony is in the pits as well. George Aja moves into 7th position. He took Collinworth. 8th position right now. And he's setting up. That's because he lost some time during the pit entry. He was in P4, I remember, in the start of the race now in P7. Collinworth from the inside has different opinion about George Jaja passing him. He's trying to switch the rule. It doesn't work. He stays in P8. There's a fight between Tom and Maestro. Maestro was leading, remember, before he lost it at the uh, stadium section uh, in the penultimate corner. Maestro is doing... And the last lap time is doing 216.2. The guy 
who is in the lead right now is Veilside with quickest lap of 151.4. To be frank, that's the quickest I've seen on the circuit, or I've seen 49s in qualifying, but in race trim, that's the quickest. Even it did 150.5 this last lap, so he's flying, trying to build up a gap before he does any pit stop. If I remember right, I've I've seen Veilside in the pits, and he came came out victorious from this battle of pit stops. We're still waiting for the weather to change because they told us that the weather forecast is going to be rainy by the last 15 minutes we're expecting rain to be frank who's in the pits r1 is in the pits right now i don't know if he's changing for wets or not or if he spots if there's a spots of rain let's look from the cockpit no it looks clear clear the weather is clear so veil side from rob yeah i can see spots of rain starting to drop down on the circuit look at the cockpit view i can see the spots starting to form and this means that whoever did not stop up, on, up until now has gained tremendously. George that as he says he has to pit for tires. Rob is in the pits. Okay. No, I pit it. Pit, 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 guys, pit, pit, pit. So Rob is in the pits, he's switching for wet tires, this is important, Legionary takes third and Frem is in second right now, Veilside is in first, yet to pit, I don't know about the grip. George Jaja opted to stay out but he's pushed, he's um, challenging for P5. He should have, I think Rob has very good opportunity to lead this race, but he's right now mm. going to be Hello. struggling on these tires because the, Hello. the track is Hello. not Hello. yet Hello. wet. But it's going to be wet soon. So it's a gamble. Do you go in early or late for wet? On what is that? Frame is in second. I can see the wipers on on George Jaja's car. That means that it is getting wetter and wetter by the minute. He should pit right now for wet tires. Or did it stop? It's it's looks like it's raining at certain parts of the circuit, not all of it. Yeah, for example, at this back straight, we can see the amount of water that's forming up on the windshield of Veilside, the leader. Now it's raining really hard in this part of the circuit. It's raining now. I love your arm that didn't pit. Like the guy behind me and the guy behind, hoping to pit maybe for one 
change of tires so let's see if their strategy will work out maybe they want to put the rain tires I don't know most of them did not pit up until now there's but you should pit this lap because what is going really heavy rain is going really heavy now that top five we did pit the top six seven eight they didn't and he's keeping up with me without pitting wow So, Vale side is in first, Frim is in second, Legionary in third, Maestro in fourth, Georgia in fifth, Tom in sixth, Blind Chun in sixth, in seventh, Collinworth in eighth, Gary in ninth, Took in tenth, Bobber in eleventh, Harry Bones in twelfth, Rob, who's been leading a certain time is p13 right now uh, xc ec which the guy was in last at a certain times now in p14 lake wundo in p15 tony in p16 and she cats in p17 we've lost uh that is a, who's been lapping in p16 Ah, we've seen Robles struggling right now with the tires. He gambled way too much. While Valeside is not phased, we're getting into the last 10 minutes of the race. It's raining really hard right now all over the circuit not just the stadium everyone who should pit it pit for wet tires have done so and in the pits uh, in the wet sorry it's incredibly hard to catch somebody so I wouldn't think somebody would be able to catch the guy ahead unless unless the guy ahead does a prob uh, 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 does a mistake or uh, loses the car As you can see, the the field has spread now. Everyone is doing his own race. Eight minutes to go. There is this fight going on. Between Lakewood and Tony for P13. Lekwondo has exited the, the first corner very wide and he's he's got some kind of damage to the front of the car. I don't know what it is, but and it looks like he's getting Exa. All of these three guys are side by side, they're close to each other. Who will B. Oh, 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 be careful, guys. Some touches. Tony is in P13. Look, Wundu came out the least benefit from, from this, but he changes the position to P13 right now. 
and he loses again on the brakes. Lekwundo, Tony moved to P14s. Shikats has moved to P13 and Exec has moved to P12. Okay, he lost it. We're watching still the battle between Shikats, Tony, and EXE C87. The rest of the, the field is spread with five minutes left to go on the clock. Oh, EXE is out of the circuit in the background. And he's about to lose the position to Lake Wundu. So P13 goes to P14 goes to Lake Wondo. Still a fight for P12 as the rain intensifies. Take Tonique takes P12 from Shikats. In the back. Lake Wondo had a massive difficulty negotiating the Herpin, Vilside is in the pits. Oh, Vilside lost it. Oh my God. They lost it on the way out of the pits. That's the traditional way of these cars. They tend to push a lot on the second gear. High amount of torques. And it looks like he does have a bent steering, it looks like. I'm not sure. But this means that Frim now is in the lead. With Legionary not so far behind in second. And closing in. That's because the rain intensified. We're seeing a change. A ch oh, oh, that's coming together between Legionary and a backmarker. Frim is still in the lead. Three seconds, four seconds away from Legionary. Seven seconds away is Maestro. 16 seconds is George Aja. Phil Side, who was leading, remember, is 17 seconds down the order right now. Lekwondo is in the pits. Zorjaja is struggling. He has Vilside on his back right now. It looks like... Oh, 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 Vilside has lost it! Too much... Oh my god, too, way too much. And what a terrible rejoin. Into the pits, so many guys going into the pits. Frem still leads with 2 minutes 24 on the clock. Legionary in second, Bill Sides is in the pits. Maestro in third. George Aja benefited from this. He was in P4. Tom is in fifth. Light Chun is in sixth. Gray 
which we didn't see most of the races in P7 right now. Tony is in P8. Harry Bones in P9. Chicats in P10. Valeside has left the pits in P11. Collingworth is going to the pits right now. Rob74 is in P13. Ledarazi is in P14. Ray Finn is in P15. Lake Wondo is in P16 and R1 in P17. We have to watch for any fights. Let's see how if Valeside going to recover. It doesn't seem to be a recovery drive. So and entering the last minute, let's look at the leader, Frem, who's doing, who did so good in the, most of the race, kept intact. Even though it, it rained and it dried up, he took all the decisions perfectly. It's raining now at a certain positions of the circuit, not all the circuit. Look, it looks dry. Little spots of rain here and there, but nothing too serious. We're looking on board with We're heading into the start finish straight right now And the leader is about to cross the star finish straight. So it is a win for Frim, followed by Legionary in P second. Maestro is in P3. George Aja a respectful for a respectful P4. Blind Chun is in P5. Tom is in P6. Tony is in P7. Valeside has finished in 8th position after leading most of the race. Shikats in P9, followed closely by Harry Bones in P10. And that's about it. So that's the top 10 for you. Collingworth Gro is in P11. Darius is in P12, which is fantastic to, to, to say the truth. Uh, and Rob is in P13, Rafen in P14. Oh, there's a coming together between, oh, okay, between R1 and Lake Wondo. So, with that said, we came to the end of the stream. Thank you for all for watching. And I'm really sorry that I couldn't race. That's because of a stupid mistake that I did. Didn't put the fuel uh, in at the right time during the preparation for the race so uh, i hope i won't do that mistake again uh, and for the shoppiness i do have a solution uh, which we are going to see next week so for now 
Ciao.